Hey guys, Chip here. So let's talk a little bit about this particular box. And the whole idea behind this box is that you can actually edit the text inside a Bamboo Lab and it'll actually print it out. So the first thing I should mention is if you don't want any text, if you just want to create a box, you don't want any text, then just go to this text shape right here and highlight it and then hit delete, hit the delete button and it'll be gone, right? So then you print out a lid without any text. So let's uh, file. Let's go ahead and let's open this back up. Okay, here we go. Now the next thing is if you only want to print in one color, but you want this text debossed, then click over here and you right click on this. You say change type and you said part, make it a negative part like this. Okay. And then you may need to look in here at the, make sure the Z is always set to zero. Okay, and then let's just go ahead and select this and let's slice this plate and you'll see that text is empty. So nothing's being shown there. Now let's go back to this project. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna choose from your device what printer you wanna print with. Right now I'm actually printing, and you may hear it in the background, sorry about that, but I'm printing with an A1. If I go into Barney, this is an X1C. And so I can go into here and then I'll go back to prepare. And then I want to make sure I sync up all of my filaments here. So now I've got the filaments. Now I don't want to mix PLA and PETG. So for here, I'll come over here, click on this. And I want this to say, this is going to be three. This is going to be gray. And then the color of the text is going to be PLA also. And by the way, you can print in PETG, but they just need to be the same. You can't have one PETG and one PLA. You probably already know that, but let's just go into this text shape here. And we're going to say two on that. And there we have the text. Now, anytime before you print, you want to select the text. And as I said previously, go in here and make sure this is set to zero. And the reason why that is, is because you're going to want to edit this text, right? So you can come over here, you can click on this and you can say edit text, right? So let's go ahead and we're going to change the font to something like this and change the text. You can use all caps or not leather craft. Okay. I'm going to change the size of it instead of 16 and make it 20. And don't, this needs to stay 290.8 and, and everything else is the same, right? So then you come over here and click on this. And so notice that now our Z has changed because anytime we edit the text with this button, this Z will change. So we can go back here, hit zero, and now we're just good to go. We slice the plate now and you'll see there it is, right? So there is the black. So we have three layers, three layers of black. One, two, three. Now notice there is no perch tower. There's no room for a perch tower in this. And so that's the reason why there's, and it, it doesn't really matter. I, I haven't had any issues with it. It starts with that black color and prints that first. It works great. Okay. So next let's talk about what if we want to add another line of text, how does that happen? So that's a little complicated. I think it's a bug in bamboo, but let me show you what I've been able to figure out. If anyone knows why, what's going on is going on, I'd like to know, but I'm going to just basically click on this object again here. So I just click on the object and I click off of it, click back on it. And I get this text right here. So I click on here and let's go ahead. I'm going to just leave for now. And this is 290.8 is the uh, angle. And the input text is going to be my ship Walters. And as I drag it around, you'll see there it is. And maybe I want that smaller. Let's make it eight. And this is always going to be 1.2 right here. 1.2. Okay. I'll put it over here, something like this. That has to be in the word 12. Here, we'll do that. I'm going to select it right there. And then with it still highlighted, I'll hit the number two because I want it to be that color. So here's our text. Now, first things first is this is at zero also. But if we look at it, we're going to see it's actually sticking out here. And so is this one. Both of them are. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but. That's the bug I'm talking about. So let's figure out how we can fix that. First, let's just go ahead and make sure we're centering it. So the way I do this is I move these things up here and you got to understand that centering with type is a visual thing. It's not a numeric thing. You can't just get the center of the bounding box and put it there. That's not going to get it exactly right. So that's why I put it up here and adjust it because I want to get it as close as I can and then put it back down. The same thing with leather, this one right here. I can do the same by selecting this and moving it up as well. And seeing that it's not centered, so let's just move this over just a tad and then move it back in place. 
Now, if we were just to go ahead and say, let's make this zero, and let's just grab the second one, and let's make this zero also. Zero. Now, what's interesting is that even though they're zero, they're still sticking out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll slice the plate, and you'll see that we have this warning. And the warning means that if we look at our slice, you're going to see that we have a couple layers here before we kick this in. So that just doesn't work correctly. So let's go back here and let's select this one. And I'm going to change that to, oops. That I'm going to change to 1.2. And then I'm going to go grab this one here, which is the second one here. And I'm going to change that to 1.2 also. Now let me double check. Let's just check this one, make sure. See, this one now is at 0.6. And that one's at 0.6. That might work. Even though I put 1.2, let's just see what happens when we slice the plate this time. And that did work. It looks like that's okay. Slice is okay. We can move this down. We'll see, yeah, the first. So that's basically how I go about adding a second layer or a second line of text here. Now, one last thing I will share, and that is one of the coolest things about this particular box is that if you look into here, this has got a hole that runs all the way through it. And over here, this has got a hole in each one of these hinge points. And you just basically take a piece of filament. It could be ABS or ASA or PLA or PEG. It doesn't really matter, whatever. And you can just run it right through there, and that becomes your hinge. So you don't need any metal hardware or anything else to create a hinge. It's going to be just fine. You put that in there. I've actually built hinges like this, and they've been on... Pet G outside in an ice cooler, and it just works great. Never had a single problem. So anyway, just want to mention that's something you might want to take a look at as a feature for this particular box design. And of course, this little lid right here, this little thing is, is just a friction snap on the front, and just very easy to pull it apart. So anyway, I hope that helps. This is just gives you a little quick description of how you can use Bamboo Slicer to add any kind of text to, and, and print out with an AMS, either on an A1 or X1 Carbon or P1P or whatever. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks. Bye.